For now, we'll shift to Canada, which is dealing with a climate emergency. Canada has been forced to deploy its air force to conduct rescue operations in British Columbia. That's because the province is dealing with unprecedented floods. Two days of torrential rain have submerged large parts of British Columbia underwater. The city of Vancouver is the worst hit. It has been cut off from the rest of the country. More than 18,000 people have been displaced. 9,000 homes are without power. Canada is calling it a once in a 500 year event. Here's a report on the scale of the tragedy and the steps being taken by the government. Situated in the westernmost part of Canada is the province of British Columbia, Canada's third most populous province. At present, it looks like this. Large swaths of British Columbia are completely submerged underwater. Rivers have turned into raging torrents. Mudslides have become a frequent sight. Highways have collapsed. Vehicles are stranded. Boats have become the new mode of transport. Cattle are being rescued through jet skis. Nine thousand homes are without power, and eighteen thousand people have been displaced. It is being called a once in a five hundred year event, triggered by just two days of torrential rains. Such is the scale of the tragedy that an entire city has been cut off from the rest of Canada. Vancouver. Mudslides have blocked all routes to Vancouver. Roads are inundated. Bridges have been washed out. Railway lines are lying non-operational. And all highways have been forced to shut down. The local authorities have declared a state of emergency. not just in Vancouver, but across the province. Please do not hoard items. What you need, your neighbours need as well. We are confident that we can restore our supply chains in a quick and orderly manner, provided we all act as we have been acting over the past two years. Back in the capital, Ottawa, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has deployed the Canadian Air Force to help with rescue and relief operations. Planes and choppers are flying to British Columbia to support supply lines, clean up the blocked routes and rebuild the properties destroyed. Hundreds of Air Force officials are on their way. Thousands more have been put on standby. I can confirm that there are hundreds of Canadian Armed Forces members uh, currently headed to British Columbia to help with everything from supplies to evacuation to whatever is needed. There are thousands more on standby. We will continue uh, to work closely with the province, with Indigenous leaders, with community leaders to make sure that we are doing everything we can uh, to support the people of British Columbia through this incredibly difficult time. Canadian scientists at the University of British Columbia are attributing this disaster to the effects of climate change. They blame it on human-caused factors like wildfires and logging that increases chances of landslides. They also blame industrial activities for bringing such storms to the mountains. According to atmospheric scientist Rachel White, as we warm up the atmosphere, as we warm up the oceans, more water is evaporated from the oceans. So then when we have these atmospheric river events, essentially the atmosphere can carry more water towards our mountains. This dangerous trend is quite evident in British Columbia. It is being hit by one natural calamity after another. Just this summer, the same region suffered a record high heat wave 
temperatures soared to 43 degrees Celsius. As the heat broke records, more than 500 people died. Now British Columbia is reeling under floods. It is difficult to assess the cost of this tragedy right now. But observers say it could go on to be the most expensive natural disaster in Canadian history. Bureau Report, we on World is One. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.